the, the times change in the way that things are viewed, actions are viewed. So sport, this, this sport is like culture. It will change and it will adjust over time. There's no definition of it. There's no right way of fencing. There's no wrong way of fencing. There's, if you get the point, you get the point. How you get there is your way of getting there. Exactly. Yeah, we have a meeting this weekend with a guy who does shipping container houses. So to talk with him about forward thinking and thinking of modular spaces. We can link them below. Putting, putting them in a space where they can have a smart house as well. It's not only modular, it's not only better for the environment and better for the planet, but it's also smart. It's yeah. also leveraging the technologies that are new. So when I'm talking with a lot of these people, it's like, how can voice apply to this space? Because nobody's thinking about it. What so I've been sitting here and thinking, how can voice apply to fencing? And I'm trying to think how can, how can it, how is there a place in the space to add value mm -hmm. that isn't currently using voice that we could leverage? And I'm thinking like refing, yeah. training. It seems like a lot of that's human, you need the human element and a lot of it's already automated. What are So the biggest problem with fencing, and, and there's always discussion on this, um, I mean, no matter what country you're from, is that you know when you get to high level, super high level, the difference between winning and losing is super small. And it's always one little, referee decision that early on in the match can throw a match in one way direction or another because if I get if, if I get like a pair of post like hit your blade and I hit you but the referee thinks that you hit my blade because we both look for it mm -hmm. and both hit the blade together he might call it your attack or like hits the ground and they think it hit their foot that exactly thing. exactly those are the little things that make a big difference in fencing and all the time there are people that are talking about oh the referee is Russian therefore I'm fencing a uh, a, a Russian guy and I'm French and our countries hate fencing each other and etc. There's always politics involved. Um, so it, 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 I what I tried to do a while ago was I tried to work with people to make a software f to read fencing. So there was no referee. It took, completely took the referee out of the system. It no longer is on guard ready fence. I'm watching. I see them do this. I call point. No. It's a referee with sensors on your hand, wrist, and foot. Uh, and hip to know who has the attack who's going forward faster than the other person so it's no more oh you're going forward but slowly therefore it's not your attack it's if I'm going forward at you at a certain pace it registers as an attack if it doesn't meet that pace it's not an attack if I hit the ground and not your foot the, the sensor on your foot at the very front toe if it doesn't get close to that then it hit the floor it didn't hit my foot so things like that that take the the, the inefficiencies out of fencing and the hairs the errors, exactly. The, the, bias, the, errors the, inefficiencies. the errors are costly. And the, the biases that can come involved in fencing, because there's a lot of money involved in fencing. Uh, at this past uh, Olympics in, in Rio, the Russian fencers that got gold won a million euros. 750,000 for second, 500,000 for third. So there's money involved. The president of the Russian Federation is Uzmanov. He's the right hand man of Putin, he's a billionaire. So it's very big. Yeah, it's like an aristocratic it, it, sport. It's an aristocratic sport. It doesn't get a, that's what I was thinking. It doesn't get a ton of mainstream. It's never on the front page of New York Times. No, no, never. Uh, it, just because it's it, like... It's a community of, almost, though, I feel like. It's a community, but seen. this is why. This is why I will never get to the level of football, basketball, baseball, things like that, because it's not easy to watch. It's not easy to, like, view as a commuter or someone that's a, that just sees it for the first time. You have to understand right-of-way. It's very difficult, and it's freaking expensive to get all that. That's about $1,000 worth of material it takes to start fencing. Just to fence electric at a competition is a thousand dollars. This is about two hundred fifty, three hundred dollars. This is three hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. The mask is three hundred. It's really expensive. So that racks up. So not anyone can start it in Brazil. I've played with people on the street with a piece of trash that we literally made into a ball with our bare feet. We didn't need a single thing but our bodies and a piece of trash and something that would be a goal. Super simple. That's all you need. And I'm I'm trying to think. It feels like a. You're talking IoT, like small sensors. The cost mm -hmm. of sensors is decreasing, right? And the value that we get from each individual piece of data goes up. So the software, AI, artificial intelligence, the, machine learning. The software is still difficult. There is one that um, that video replay is all, is what is what is used right now. So if you don't agree with the call, you call video replay, and they slow it down to a quarter time. Mm -hmm. So like it's a quarter of a second basis. So you can see everything much clearly if you use video replay. But the problem with that still is there's a person that's looking at it, and even Making then the they can still make a judgment error. Then. Interesting. So if you have sensors in the sense that like, if I hit on the strong part of your blade, then it's your attack. If, you hit on the, if I hit you on the strong part of my blade, it's my attack. 
It's all about who has dominance over who, mm -hmm. and that changes as well as based on who's going faster towards who. Because if I'm going slowly forward, and you speed up and you hit me and I hit you, the referee can see I'm going forward if I'm going slowly forward, but it's really the attack of the person that's going more aggressively if it's in the same time. If we both take a lunge together, the person who's going faster forward technically Gets has the first. attack. So they technically have the attack, but a lot of times internationally, they don't want to make a bias call or judgment versus one direction or another, so they just say it's together, and both people do the same action, they annul it. But really, one person's going faster than another, or the arm is accelerating faster. That's a big difference maker, especially in Sabre. Sabre's a right-of-way sport, but they look at the arm and the extension so much more, so much more. and it's the little things in Sabre that you really have to pay attention, attention for more than for Amazon came out with this camera over the summer. I think it was June when they publicly released it. Sure. It's called AWS Deep Lens, and it's a deep learning camera. So you, it costs $130, wow. and it's a camera that's built to run artificial intelligence and machine learning on videos. Wow. So I'm, as we're talking, I'm thinking of this potential. They also have a cloud cam. They released that recently, the cloud cam. That one's mostly targeted at putting it in your child's room, putting it in the baby room. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, Alexa, check in on the kid, and then you can see a Watch camera that's inside that's, of it. That's brilliant. When you're training, if you could have the deep lens recording that training session, and you s and as you're training, you say Alexa, because Alexa's there. Alexa, how was that? And then she takes that analysis from that video and says, you had dominance, you leaned a little bit forward. Um, Gives you information on the spot. To, to give you information, golf, to, yeah. to break down that video and then to immediately do it, golf. It takes someone like yourself who has domain expertise and knows what those points are to look at, that then works with a techie guy to train the uh, the machine learning camera. Like it could That'd be, be groundbreaking. It could be this though. Every time you're setting it up, hey, switch to Russian style. Hey, switch to French style. Yes. You know, there could be all of these different styles that are incorporated into it, and then you could have different coaches uploading their own style. Yeah, because there's a lot of discussion on coaches online via Facebook. What they'll do is take a video of a certain action and say, okay right attack or right attack stop is left attack. And they put a discussion there and a bunch of referees comment what they think the action was and you get a consensus on it. So certain certain coaches, uh, like one of them that's in, that I trained with in, 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 uh, in the California area, he has often put up videos for discussion because the way that something has been called 20, 30 years ago is different now. 